How do you indent text in Microsoft Word? Perhaps you already know. The simplest way to create an indent for your text in Microsoft Word is to select the line of text you want to indent and press the tab key. By default, this will create a half inch or 1.27 centimeter indent before the first line of your paragraph. And if all you need to do is make sure that the first line of each paragraph in your text has a half inch indent, you're done. But what about if you need more control over indents in Microsoft Word? There are basic indentation tools, special indentation tools, and the ruler tool. Let's dive into each one now. You can find the two simplest options under the Home tab, specifically just to the right of the List options. Here you'll see Decrease Indent, an increase indent. The increase indent button adds a half inch indent at the left margin for the entire paragraph, not just the first line. This makes it perfect for quickly indenting blocks of quotes in an essay. The decrease indent button, meanwhile, moves text a half inch nearer to the left margin. You can therefore use this to readjust text that has already been indented. If you need more control over the size of the indents or you need to indent text from the right hand margin instead, you'll need to go to the layout tab on the ribbon. Here, you'll find a section titled indent with two fields, one for indenting text from the left margin and another for indenting text from the right margin. To use these, simply enter a value in the relevant field Typing one into both fields, for example, will indent the selected text one inch from both the left and right margins on the page. As with the increase indent and decrease indent buttons, using the indentation options on the layout tab indents the whole of the selected paragraph. The main difference is that you have much more control over the size of indentations and which margin to indent from. However, if you need to indent only part of a paragraph, you'll need to use the special indentation tools. You'll need to open the paragraph settings menu. To find this, go to the home tab, click line and paragraph spacing button and select line spacing options from the dropdown. Once you've opened the paragraph settings window, you'll see a variety of settings, but the ones we're interested in are the indentation section in the middle. Here, you can set indentation values for the left and right margins like we did via the Layout tab, but there's also a drop-down menu where you can select two kinds of special indents. The first option is First Line, which adds an extra indent to the first line of each paragraph. This is often used to mark the start of a paragraph. The second option in this menu is Hanging, which adds an indent to every line after the first one in each paragraph. This is most commonly used to format references in an essay. Make sure to check your style guide if you're formatting reference list entries. Different style guides have different rules about how much to and whether to indent lines in reference list entries. If you followed the video so far, you should be able to create any indent you like, but there's also one last option that you may prefer. We need to look at the ruler tool. If you can't see the ruler in your version of Microsoft Word, you'll likely need to turn it on. You can do this by going to the View tab on the ribbon and selecting the Ruler option. Once you've activated the ruler, we can look at how to use it to indent text. The important parts of the ruler for this are the little tabs on the left and right at the top of the screen. Moving these tabs will indent the text you've selected or in the part of the document where you've placed the cursor, but how this works will depend on which tab you move. To adjust the indentation from the left margin, drag the rectangle shape on the ruler. To adjust the indentation from the right margin, drag the right hand triangle tab. You can also use these tabs to create special indents. For a first line indent, you can drag the arrow at the top of the ruler. For a hanging indent, meanwhile, click and drag the triangle just above the rectangle shape. This will also move the left indent tab, but by dragging the triangle instead of the rectangle, you will indent each line in the selected paragraph after the first one. If you're not sure which tab is which, simply hover the cursor over any of the shapes on the ruler. Its name will then pop up helping you pick out the right one. The ruler is a great option if you need to quickly adjust indentation settings whilst you work. However, it isn't as precise as using the paragraph settings option in the menu. So beware, if you need your indentations to be consistent throughout your document, I'd recommend using the paragraph settings option. Thanks for watching. Hopefully now you can indent text like you've been doing it your whole life. If you do have any questions though, please let me know in the comments. And as always, check the resources in the video description for more guidance. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and check out our Master Microsoft Word playlist, which endeavors to cover every possible challenge to using Microsoft Word 
in the best way possible in your work. Your writing, proof.